People have been putting vibration into objects for a long time, trying to find out where stuff is, whether it's oil or a crack in the space shuttle. So we thought, why don't we try this in humans? Why don't we put some vibration through them and see if we can't detect where the problems are? Uh, we've needed a test like this for a long time in the spine. It's not like other conditions where there might be a blood test or other things. In the spine, we, we really don't have that. So we're hoping that this technology will fill a really uh, big gap in terms of testing for things like back pain. So the advantage of all those vibration tests is that they give you a picture of how something's working. Are, are things cracked? Are they not fitting together properly? Structural things like that. And MR gives you a good picture but it doesn't really tell you how something's functioning. The MRI shows us the picture of the spine. This tells us how's the spine working. Is that instead of having to wait one or two years or whatever it might be to get an MR, this could help us triage people to, no, you might not need that. Let's see you go over here. So because it's fast, it doesn't uh, cost a lot, and you can do it relatively time and time again, unlike MR, which you might have to wait months and months and months, we can get measurements from this on a fairly continuous basis and see maybe if people's conditions are changing over time and maybe an MRI is more relevant now or less relevant. So I think it helps us uh, better apportion things like MR care.